We've taken up the challenge that was presented by the church. We're called now to get out of the pews and support the culture of life. After the Dobbs decision, the comeback was, we're not thinking about the mothers. We're always worried about the babies, and that's not true. The church supports mothers and fathers. We're there for people, anybody, fathers and moms, and to keep them safe. And they just have to ask and we'll be there. If we can't surprise the services, we know who to contact. And we're gonna give them somebody that can help them. We have resources available to us on a diocesan level that sometimes local parishes are not aware of. So if we encounter a particular case, a specific case of a mother in need, a dad in need, we then have a source to which we can go to provide services. We really do work hand in hand with them all the time to get direction and to give direction for people. Personally, as a woman, as a mother, as a grandmother, I would tell a young girl, don't despair. Above all, God loves you, God loves your baby. I know it seems insurmountable. You're not alone in it. You're going to have help. We don't abandon these ladies. We don't abandon them when they have their baby. We continue to support, that's something that a young girl, or not just a young girl, a middle-aged woman who it happens to her and, oh my goodness, I'm not ready to start all over again. I think that is what we see as well. We'll help you. We will be there for you. We have these places, these ministries, these resource centers, mm. these pregnancy centers, these life-affirming centers. This is why we have this for you. So mm. we're gonna do everything we can for you.